can you describe to us some of the questions that examining this really old DNA helps us to answer? Well, ancient DNA as a whole, I think, gives us really cool insights into what used to exist. Some examples that you probably have heard of. Um, do you know what a Denisovan is? No. You ever heard of this? So a Denisovan is a type of human that used to be alive, that we had no idea was alive until scientists from the Max Planck Institute in Leipzig, Germany, extracted DNA from a tiny little pinky bone. They thought that maybe it was a Neanderthal bone or a very early human, but it turned out to be neither, but an entirely different type of person, of human, that was alive around the same time as Neanderthals. We've also discovered things like species of horses and donkeys that we did didn't know existed by getting DNA from bones. And other things that we can do is we can try to figure out what types of animals and plants made up a community during the peak of the last ice age and how that community shifted as the whole planet warmed up after the last ice age. We can start to ask questions about what makes some species and populations and communities more resistant and resilient in the face of these large scale perturbations to their habitats so that we can make more informed decisions about how to protect and preserve species in the present. The past by its very nature is different from anything that exists today. And to my mind, what's most exciting about it is that being a scientist who studies DNA from the past is like being a modern day explorer. We actually don't know what we're going to find, but it's probably going to be cool.